hello capricorn how are you guys welcome back to my channel divine and gifted i am shay what's up welcome 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 if you're new here hello um hit the subscribe button notification bell so you can know when i upload also check out some of the other zodiac signs and content okay so with that being said capricorn this is going to be for sun moon rising or for whatever you need it for you feel me if you tapped on in tap in hit the thumbs up button let me know what you think in the comment section below other than that let's see now i do feel as though capricorns you guys are in this energy stage phase cycle where you're learning from past mistakes you're for you're learning how to forgive yourself you're you're learning valuable lessons you're learning how to shift and change your perspective you're learning how to be more open you're learning how to receive like you're just going through this phase and this cycle and it could seem like it's very it's hitting you harder than hard right now is what i'm getting here okay but let's see let us see Let's see, Spirit, what is the overall message for our Capricorns? Can we get a couple of self-love oracles, please? And thank you for our Capricorns. Next 30 days, this Learn card came out, baby. There we go. This card, I started the video over and I started it again. This time, this is the card that came out. It came out twice. So it says, expand your knowledge to expand your world. Seek out teachers of wisdom. Seek new knowledge to create broader perspectives. So this Learn card... I also feel like um, you could be receiving some type of intuitive downloads as well with this learn card. But I just feel like for a lot of the a lot of the Capricorns, you guys are learning lessons right now. You're you're in this energy of learning how to forgive, surrender, let go, or what so have you. Can I get one more? And then seek new knowledge to create broader perspectives. This is like you're learning how to step outside your comfort zone, to step into um, unknown territory, to go against the grain. You're learning how to accept your your shadow and those things that kind of make you rush rough around the edges. You're learning how that the roughness around the edges make you an even better person. OK, so we also have be nimble here. OK, it says we ask when we ask for help. We must be open to receiving it. We may be called to be flexible when help arrives in unexpected forms. Now, you guys may have asked for something. Look deeper. You guys may have asked for something and it hits you to the core. It sent you down a path of destruction or it just sent you down a path of, of upheaval. Like, it is what I'm getting change your environment yes so there could be going through you could be going through certain changes to your environments and what spirit is asking you is to look deeper at what it is that you ask for if you ask for your life to change in any type of way or if you've been praying for change or what so have you and now change is happening in your life spirit is like i'm only doing as you ask now i need you to be open to receiving this newness that's about to come in as you go through these cycles you're learning these lessons your certain things about yourself are being revealed certain things about people are being revealed certain situations you're starting to see is like really not in alignment or for you or what so have you um a lot of things are coming to the forefront and spirit is asking you to when we ask for help we must be open to receiving it and i feel that capricorn you're so you got everything under control to where now is the time to ask for help because you need help, you need guidance, you need um, reassurance, you need confirmation. And spirit is like, okay, I'm here. Let me pull you an ancestor message because they want to. They want to tell you something. Know it. Our Capricorns, okay. This was not a part of the plan, Capricorn. This was not a part of the plan, ancestor guides, angels, your spirit team, whoever you are, wherever you are. They want to send you a message. And what is the message that you want to give to our Capricorns at this time? I also feel like believe, I see believe, and this is about believing in the impossible. This is also about believing that what is about to be asked of you or what is being asked of you is for your highest and greatest good. What is being asked of you? And maybe you don't know. And maybe that's something that you need to ask spirit. Or maybe you need to really pay close attention to what's happening in your current situation and say, 
in this situation, what is being asked of me? Or can you reveal what I need to see? Um, or maybe this is something that you've already asked for. Okay. I don't know. Oh, can we get an ancestor message for our Capricorns? What is it that you wanted the Capricorns to know? Thank you. Now, Capricorns. Okay. Low weight. Now, I feel like for some of you guys, you guys have a lot of you got you are you're going through a lot of transformation right now, especially with this study card. I also feel like your intuition, your guides, your answers, your angels want you to study your thoughts, study how you feel. And this is like connecting you to your intuition. I also feel like connecting to your breath is going to be very important because you guys are in this energy of going through a lot. And you when you're going through, you need to go within. OK, and I also feel as though there is something happening in your dreams that you need to pay attention to. I'm also being guided to tell you guys that you guys can do um a cleanse if some of you guys are interested in some type of egg cleanse or something like that that's a vibe too but connecting to water is very very important all these cards all the eyes are closed all of them okay it says love is the foundation of your existence and you and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life so spirit is asking you to be open to love and i and i understand that when it comes to capricorn sometimes it may be a little hard to open up because you're just used to things just being a certain way okay but how you show up for people, spirit is telling you that it's time for someone to show up for you, okay? With this love, and it's also when you block the flow of love from coming into your life, you also block the flow of abundance. You block the flow of prosperity because love, abundance, and prosperity, they all roll together. They they run tight. They, they connect it, okay? Now, I do feel like there is a very, very deep sense of you needing to go in here. Um, I'm going to pull one more ancestor message and I'm going I'm to move on. Can we get one more ancestor message for our Capricorns, please? And thank you. Can we get one more ancestor message, please? Can we get one more ancestor message? Hope. Hope, hope, hope. Look at this. Eyes are closed. Okay. It says your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So your spirit team not only wants you to open up to receive in love, open up, ask, ask for what it is that you need so they can send you what it is you need. But they're also saying remain hopeful. OK, look at that flame. Some of you guys are really need to set intention. OK, some of you guys, your inspiration is uh, like the the spark, the fire, the flame or it's something like that. Like it's something about a flame or it's something about light. OK, I'm making my head itch. Uh, maybe you guys feel like you're alone because look at this. You feel alone, you feel isolated, you feel by yourself. But this is because you haven't been truly open with yourself. And it's time for you to open yourself up to your spirit team, your guides, your ancestors, your angels without fear, without overthinking. And I know what some of you guys are thinking like, oh, and I do and I feed my altar and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's not the spiritual acts. Sometimes it's the actions that speak louder than words. So if you're asking for love and then love shows up and then you close off your energy to love be, be through based upon fear or whatever you're going through current circumstances, I can't really focus on that right now because I have this, this, that, the third going on. They're like, okay, well look, you asked for love. I'm trying to send you love, but you denying love. So what is it that you want me to do? And now you feel as though I turned my back on you, but I never did. I'm just, I'm giving you what your soul is crying out for. In the physical, you may be going through or experiencing one thing, but your soul was asking for this and we can't we can't impede your path you have to ask you have to open up to us okay 
But it says we are here for you. We never left through all the sadness and the loneliness. However, you cannot sense us near or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So your guides want you to know that you're never alone. You are never alone. But you have to be because you have your own free will. You have to open up this space for them to come into your to come into your space. You have to open this space up and say, I need help. Stop trying to figure it all out on your own. Ask for help. And when help comes, accept it. Your first initial response is no, because you've created a cycle or pattern within you that every time somebody helps me they want something every time somebody helps me it goes to shit every time whatever that is for you whatever that cycle that you've created within yourself now when you've asked for something when you ask for help when you ask for your spirit team or when you ask for not your spirit team but when you ask for your soul family when you ask for friends and family to show up and you shut them out however they show up you shut them out spirit says stop in your tracks and say okay because that's something that you need to learn to surrender to okay Let's see. What should the main focus be for the next 30 days? The main focus is 555. 555. It says, are you fighting change? Embrace the unknown that awaits you. So for the next 30 days, stop resisting to change and just allow yourself to go with the flow. Stop resisting change and allow yourself to go with the flow. Um, also, use your words. Be Use your words. Use your words or be careful with your words because your words are very powerful at this time. Okay? If you want something, you have to speak it. Speak it and believe it with every ounce of your being. One more. Let me shuffle up. Hold on. One more for our Capricorns for the next 30 days. birth chart <clears throat> bottom of the deck is honor yourself this is the card the birth chart is to check out some of the other zodiac signs if you know what your zodiac signs are what so have you but it says the key to the answers you seek lie in your natal chart now if you're wondering how do i get in how do i get to my natal chart astro cafe has a free natal chart all you have to do is know your first name last name birthday time you were born the place you were born and it'll pull up your whole natal chart and it will tell you what your sun is it'll tell you what your it, it whole natal sun moon rising venus where everything was placed when you were born it gives you a whole breakdown of everything that you need to know when it comes to your birth chart okay now honor yourself is here because you don't do this enough you don't take the time to honor, to nurture, to love on you enough, okay? And then we have a listen. Hello? Listen. Pay close attention to what you hear. Beings from other realms speak through you often. And that could be very much so your dreams. Or this could be just like, um, just conversations, random conversations, okay? Pay attention to what it is you're he hearing. Some of the things that you're picking up on through your ears is coming as the message or the advice that you need, Okay? So, let's uh, keep it kicking. Let's um, let's, let's see what's, what's going on with our Capricorns. Can we get an energy breakdown for our Capricorns, please? And thank you, Capricorn. For whoever watched this reading, they watch the other readings, and they don't see these ancestral messages. Look, y'all, I'm sorry. But I go as I'm guided, okay? I go as I'm guided. If you're new here, I'm, I go as I'm guided, okay? <clears throat> thank you. So, we have the Queen of Cups here. to the full you guys have a new emotional beginning you guys have a new beginning when it comes to love and your and your heart is asking to surrender to this process okay um i don't even know when those flipped baby listen look at that i want you to see the similarities here look at the cards see the similarities Okay, Capricorn. Whoa. Wow. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Six of Swords. <coughs> Man, it's about eight to four cards. Let's see. So we have the Six of Swords here. That's the King of Cups, Six of Swords, the Temperance. Wow. 
the Four of Swords. Capricorn, you're mentally exhausted. Mentally exhausted. But searching for truth within. But something tells me you've already found the truth. Definitely found the truth already. You've definitely found the truth. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Do not be afraid to take action. This is why it's your overall energy. I feel like sometimes you rush into things head first and you're a little bit hesitant because you're not sure. But if you are connected to someone, let me explain you something. If you are connected to someone and this someone is very loving, nurturing, kind, sweet, compassionate, this person statabomb.com because the person that you're connected to if you're connected in a relationship wise or just somebody that you're dealing with this is this is this is this is one hell of a connection the queen of, the king and queen of cups with the fool in the middle is both of you guys are learning how to surrender and love i also feel like um if you're dealing with someone the six of the six of swords is here because both of you guys also had times, periods, or are going through a phase to where you feel stuck when it comes to love as well. And sometimes what happens is you attract these unrequited love partners. And now you guys are facing each other and looking at each other for a new beginning, but afraid to take this step, afraid to go in this, in, 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 in this direction. Now, to see the Five of Pentacles come out with the Six of Pentacles over here at the bottom. Can you guys see that? Over here. That's where it's at. Um, to see you guys come out with the five, the five and six of pentacles, you're going from the five, you're going from, um, hopelessness to struggle, to strive, to, to, to really being on this journey to where you're trying to find your path in every turn, every direction, you feel alone, you feel isolated. Now with the six of pentacles, it relationship wise, there is a union. And this union is coming in to bring balance, it's restorative, it's healing, it's patient, it's really love, it's really genuine, okay? But with the four of swords here, aligning with the full card energy, I just feel as though this may be something that you're trying to block out, you're trying to disconnect from, because maybe you guys recently, um, to see the page of cups here with the nine of pentacles, this is basically like, you want to take your time when it comes to love because you want to enjoy your freedom. Okay. You want to enjoy your freedom. Um, for others of you guys, you guys recently went through some type of breakup separation, or like I said, you guys were going through with the learn card, you guys were going through different cycles, patterns, or karmic endings. And you were really, you were really overthinking, stressed out, worried. You had anxiety through the, up the roof. You get what I'm saying? With this four of swords. And now you're being guided to go in a new direction. And this new direction is going to lead you to the love of your life, which is the king of cups or the king, queen of cups energy. Um, now I do feel as though with this six of swords, you are carrying internal baggage you're carrying emotional withdrawal energy like i just want to focus on myself i just want to and and let's be clear just because you <clears throat> when you meet someone new and they have all the love in the world to give you because you met someone new does not mean that you cannot focus on yourself okay you just have to find a balance okay so i don't know who that's for but with the six of swords energy followed by the temperance i just feel as though you're going to come in and someone is going to be in this energy of really wanting to heal like i feel like there's a merging of the souls here actually like this is a very this connection that i'm seeing is very powerful but let's just pause real quick if this has nothing to do with love and if this has something to do with you and learn how to surrender to your emotional needs because the queen and king of cups is here this is you balancing out your energy here with the temperance card this is you learning how to believe in love again for some of you guys with the six of swords you guys could have been through hell and high water here especially with the karmic connection you guys could have been stuck in a cycle for a very long time for the past six years okay and you you didn't really see the cycle but it within this cycle you went through breakdowns and breakups and separations and breakthroughs and dis back and forth energy with the knight of cups here with the knight of wands here um to the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles the lesson you felt stuck and stagnant in the situation 
and the lessons that you needed to learn was to how to break free from codependency, how to stand up for yourself, how to open up and express who and who you are and what you are and how to set healthy boundaries. And with the Six of Pentacles there, you had to learn how what an equal give and take was or you had to really learn the art of forgiveness or you had to learn the art of surrendering completely letting go i also feel as though for some of you guys in relationships there was a bit of brokenness and it left you broken it left you sad it left you it left you feeling isolated and by yourself and if this is the process the cycle that you went through when it came to love the six of pentacles here is spirit about to get you a new situation like spirit is about to get you what is under here wow so we have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Wow. 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 Capricorn. So, okay. Wow. Capricorn, y'all need a bonus reading, okay? Because I don't even have time to go through all this. Oh, my God. But what I'm getting here is, especially with this Page of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles, I feel as though... Um, like I said, when it comes to love, you really want to take your time and enjoy your freedom and you really want to explore who you are. And, but even if this has nothing to do with love, this is still, it still applies. Like you're in this energy of where you just want to be free and you want to be able to express, or you have a new beginnings coming. I do see a new love offer coming here. I cannot ignore this. You are about to meet your, your person or you have met your person. Don't run away from this person based upon the baggage that you're holding on to, which you've been through in the past. Okay. Give yourself the time, the space to heal, but do not shut this person out because this person is your person. The king and queen of cups, baby, listen. That was coming up as a queen of swords. I'd be like, listen, okay? But it's, the, it's, it's, and then you have the temperance and then you have the knight of wands with the two of pentacles. I mean, with the two of, two of cups here at the bottom. This is going to move faster than what you wanted to move, okay? And the emperor here, someone wants to help you gain control where you guys are going to be taking action towards each other with the justice card. Someone, when they see you, they see peace, they see justice, they see harmony, they see, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so clearly Capricorn, you guys got a love reading on, on the board. So what is the overall energy here before I go? Now we have calling in your soulmate and reconciliation. So you guys are calling in the past lover and this energy is gonna be worth waiting for. Bottom of the deck, we have release your ex. Some of you guys with the, with the, with the four want with the four swords to the full you guys could have really been in a relationship and having a hard time with leaving walking away moving on moving forward and because they they became a blockage okay they blocked your path you were afraid to take a risk you were afraid to go in another direction or what so have you but you deserve love and that's what spirit is telling you that what you ask for or what you want you deserve and especially with this you deserve love and wedding you don't deserve something that's cold and detached look at these couple this day don't look happy okay you deserve love. You deserve love. I feel like spirit is about to hit you with the cutest arrow. Okay, let's see here. You deserve love. Calling call me your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations, visualizations help bring you together. That's why the be nimble card is here. Because for some of you guys, you guys really ask for something. And your soul is crying out for something. And spirit is about to help you. Okay, someone in your... someone from your past is returning to your life for some of you guys you guys already met this person but energy is energy so it could be a familiar energy like damn this energy is just like man it's, it's so familiar okay but i'm about to leave y'all alone capricorn i'm about to get up out of here oh um, can we get can we get can we can we where my deck at a low it because i've been talking to y'all for 23 minutes okay um let me see what y'all need to surrender to real quick. Surrender to for Capricorns. Where is the deck at? Lost in here. Wow. Fear of intimacy. Don't be afraid to let them in. When you block the flow of love, you block the flow of abundance. You're ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. What patterns are stopping you from opening your heart with the Six of Swords? What is it that you're holding on to? What have you carried on with you after you left one situation, after you left from one situation that you learned? 
to another what what does that look like low self-esteem and procrastination some of you guys have been putting this off you guys probably been dealing with each other for the past four months four years four to six months four to six weeks four to six weeks let's 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 say four to six weeks for the past four to six weeks you guys have really been beaten down around the bush because you guys haven't been really feeling up to par for this connection and spirit is here to tell you that you are okay what else we have surrender to prayer give yourself completely over to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive the bottom of the deck we have surrender to receiving again three times in one reading baby listen support and love allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you if spirit has to give you any advice capricorn what would it be what would it be what would it be if spirit has to give capricorn any advice what would it be past life karma it says this indicates a past life is the reason why this the intense energy surrounds you the person or situation look into ways to clear past life karma and see the bigger picture of the situation by viewing it from a lesson learn from a lesson learn from a lesson perspective Taking ownership for your part in forgiveness are key in releasing past life karma. The bottom of the deck, we have self-care. It says taking time to replenish your mind, body, and soul is a must. Enjoy this time to reconnect and make yourself a priority. Ask yourself, what is serving me and what is taking from me? Much can be revealed when you stop putting yourself at the bottom of the list. Okay, Capricorn? So, oh, and then denial. So... There is a situation that you are refusing to see clearly. Live, living in denial can create a false scenario to see things that are not accurate. Have the courage and discernment to dig deep into the truth of the situation. Some of you guys are needing to ask, what is serving me? What is taken from me? And what is the truth of the situation? Okay, peace and prosperity to each and every one of you guys. Let me know what you thought in the comment sections, what you thought about this video. And until next time, bye loves.